and like somebody actually injured himself like there was a guy with an injury on his toe and then people were literally chasing the car like they were chasing the car like hello everyone my name is Ifnaya and you're welcome to my channel if this is your first time here i'd like to say a very special welcome to you you're very very welcome if this is not your first time here and yet you are not subscribed to my channel you are looking for my trouble what is the issue can you tell me what the problem is hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification button so that youtube lets you know when i post new videos so in today's video i'm going to be talking about the food drive that i did a couple days ago this is something that i've wanted to do for a very long time but you know you keep making excuses oh i don't have the right amount of money i don't have the right resources i don't have the right people to do it with and then time keeps going by but if i learned anything from the entire protest is that these things are not as complicated as we make it out to be and you don't need as much as you would imagine in your head to make things like this a possibility all you need is one idea and just a couple people to back your idea and that's honestly that's all you need right and i and i just decided that enough sitting on my ass enough making excuses it's time to hit the streets i'm not gonna lie i was very anxious in the beginning i was very very anxious i was anxious because this is it was the first time for me and i had reached out to people and they had contributed and i must say that the willingness with which my friends were ready to like contribute money to me like i could see the willingness with which they were bringing out this money which is not because they had so much of it but because of how much they wanted to help so i didn't want to disappoint anybody almost everybody i reached out to sent me money back immediately so people aired me like they they aired the fuck out of me but like you know it's, it's whatever so the initial plan was to go to someone like agege and distribute the food there but we got to agege and because of the construction that was going on the place was a lot busier and you know clustered than normal and it just made it difficult we could even to find somewhere to park was a was a problem we couldn't access the rail directly we had to park certain distance away and then carry the food there and when we got there obviously i had planned to make a video because like i said people had contributed it wasn't just my money so i wanted to be able to show those that had contributed that this is what this is how it went like it's not just to come and tell them oh i've done it do you understand but when we got to Agege, I couldn't even make a video. Like it was chaos. It was like it was very, very chaotic at that point because we came with a sack because, like I said, we had packed at a certain distance away, so we couldn't carry all the food at once. So we carried like maybe 30, 40 packs in a sack to the rail, and it wasn't even up to 30, maybe 20. And they rushed this thing. Eh? The way they rushed this thing, hey, God. I was I was shocked. I was beyond shocked. Like the way they rushed this the the, the the bags. Like somebody actually injured himself. Like there was a guy with an injury on his toe. And the funny thing is that the guy that had the injury on his toe was even dragging one with somebody and he did not agree to let it go. They both of them held it there, they were drag they were going back and forth with themselves and it's it was just like I had to tell him, Oh yeah, leave that one come there's more in the car i will give you one from the one in the car you wounded yourself already you will show you uh, like his leg was actually he was bleeding from his i think his big toe or around his big toe somewhere he was sharp bleeding on his leg and then he walked we walked back to the car i gave him and we just left there because it was it was too chaotic it was too, and it was defeating the purpose for me because i didn't just want to hand out food I needed to know the people, like I needed to see the people that I was giving it to. I needed it to be the people that actually needed it at the point. And I didn't want somebody to take five and somebody else will not get and all of that. So because of the way things are going there, I said, let's just leave here. Let's go somewhere else. So when we left Agege, we drove towards um, Ikeja on the bridge. And at that point on the road, we saw some children that were, you know, hawking um, different things. And like, they just looked like they could use a, a plate of food and we stopped there to get the funny thing is that the first guy that we stopped was a bit he was a bit you know he was like who is this one which obviously i understand because you know we are a superstitious bunch it's probably saying she this one i've come to carry my destiny i be you want to use me for your wish you know so 
but other Sisha just grabbed the food immediately and they were thanking us and all of that and I, at that point I was like I think this is the best let's just you be driving and we'll see people that look like they really need this then we'll give it to them as opposed to just going to one place and so that's what we did so from um on that bridge we went towards our lower way and um towards shop right towards towards shop right area then to oba bega and back to Ikeja. so that was the route we took at the under bridge those women that were sweeping the roads we were giving them food and we had just finished giving them and we were driving by and there was a little bit of traffic and then some people came to be knocking on our glass up please that we should give them so that they need oh hey we are giving them and we're driving past but there was a bit of a traffic so we're not going full speed you know and then people were literally chasing the car like they were chasing the car like ah, please give us our own we too we want to eat we ah, yeah. and there was this guy right which you know is the one i feel like that's the one that, i feel like that's what broke my heart the most there was this guy well dressed like he just he was wearing a shirt and a trouser he was just dressed like he could be anybody man like he didn't look like you know the idea of somebody that doesn't that looks like they want to beg you for something like he just looks well i don't know man like i don't know how to explain this point is he knocked on the glass and he asked for a god i was like ah like i mean you know things are bad but then when you are faced with the harsh realities of how bad things are it's just is different you know honestly i'm very happy to have had the opportunity to do something like this to help people in a way that i can and i'm very very thankful to everyone that contributed to make this possible
so we have one plan for december it's going to be the, the week before christmas that one is going to be full stalls rice beans um granite oil tomato paste sharp the idea is to give some people families that don't have something to celebrate the holidays with if you like to volunteer if you like to contribute send me a message because we need all the help we can get okay i will be sitting by my phone and waiting for your messages thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next video